Returning to my coin lady, pleased to see you again. There are a lot of opinions out there on XRP, both positive and negative. It's hard to tell whether I like XRP or not, I've done my homework and spoken about it, but there's just so much to it. I have no idea, it might be divisive. As with politics or religion, XRP is something that people talk about constantly when they have a strong opinion on it. You also tend to talk about your job a lot when it's something you despise. Now imagine we're on opposite sides of the argument, I speak a lot about XRP, and someone else brings up Bitcoin. I would be annoyed that people are bringing up Bitcoin if I were truly adamant about this position and didn't want to hear anything about it, or if Bitcoin was becoming too popular. So, in my opinion, Bitcoin is worthless. Ethereum is worthless. The fact that XRP has been around for four years is something I hear a lot about, isn't it? This has been going on for four years, and in that time it hasn't changed and is therefore useless, isn't it? We are currently seated at a level of around 5060 cents, up from the lower level when it was, at one point, about three dollars and a half cents. Additionally, we cycle between being at 40 cents and 70, back down to 40, up to 60, back down to 40, and up to 70. Also, it appears like we're stuck in this range the whole time. Because of all the unknowns around XRP, we are now lingering in this region. To add insult to injury, I believe there are two camps of people who will speak ill of XRP without actually despising it. Some people will speak poorly of XRP because they don't want it to be more valuable than what they already have, while others will do so because they no longer want to possess any XRP at all. I suppose it's a bit of an issue that they've been hoarding it for so long, but you can't help but make assumptions based on that. How has this come to pass? Also, maybe you're reading too much news written by XRP haters. Then I guess we can discuss it. Reason being, someone just told me that XRP is worthless. That's trash. Bringing something up in conversation, hearing it said, or reading it won't bother me in the slightest. I stand by my beliefs, and if you disagree, that's okay with me. Your stances won't offend me. I won't be hostile toward your views. It is entirely up to you what you choose to say. I mean, come on, I'm going to bring up XRP regardless of what you say, so there's no purpose in being here if it starts to sound like I despise XRP every day. For some reason, I've learned to disregard the things that try to steer me in a different path. When I invest, I have a plan, and that plan takes me in the direction I want to go. In any case, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and hit the like button. Once again, I'd like to bring up XRP because, in my opinion, it isn't exactly in a fantastic position right now. It only took a second for me to get it to appear on the screen. I wouldn't say it's in a fantastic position, but there has been some improvement over the past several days, and today is shaping up to be rather good as well, however, we will clarify the specifics. The current price of XRP is 59 cents. It continues to float around the 60 cent range, as I mentioned before. Or even lower than 40, up to 70, or whatever the case may be, correct? However, things may be a bit clearer now. There is still a lot we don't know, such if the SEC will appeal or not, how XRP will be used overall, XRPL, and all the associated processes and collaborations. At the moment, our market cap is $33 billion, and our volume is at $1 billion. The volume is 900, or more precisely $871 million. The entire inventory is visible to us. Once again, I brought this up, and someone else brought it up, they don't contain any deflationary elements. They succeed. The total supply is currently at 99.9 .9 million, or billion, as you can see. There is a maximum of 100 billion, there are somewhat more than 12 billion that have been burned off. Apologies for the confusion. Therefore, it has a notable deflationary aspect rather than a burn feature. As a matter of fact, it is deflationary. It's only that there's dilution occurring, there's a maximum supply of 100 billion, or 99 billion altogether, and 56 billion in circulation. 
As a result, the overall number of burns will be significantly reduced due to dilution. However, the current state of affairs is quite typical. And I'm sure many others will agree with me, will they? Going a year or a week, it's up 12%, which is fantastic. Seems like it's staying in the same ballpark whether it's up 5% one month and 19% the next. When compared to other items that have changed in a year, it's clear that it's increased by hundreds of percent. Remember how? Jasmine coin was worth pennies a year ago? Take Solana as an example, a year ago, it was much cheaper. You can observe development potential in a lot of other places, but XRP is stuck in the middle. This is where many of these discussions start, and I am not allowed to mention it. Earlier, I posted something saying that XRP is garbage. XRP isn't worthless, is it? As far as I'm concerned, it's my stance and my convictions regarding the opportunities presented to them. And XRP will still be far more valuable than it is currently, whether of whether those things are accomplished in that way or not. Therefore, I may not always agree with you when you say it's garbage. Truly, I am not. Also, it's quite acceptable for you to have your own thoughts and feelings on this endeavor. Plus, you shouldn't dismiss XRP out of hand merely because you believe in something else. I must confess, I have my doubts about XRP. Overall, XRP isn't anything I care about. I find this position more appealing. The reasons behind this are as follows. If you simply declare XRP is trash, we can't have this conversation, no matter how much I love it. I am not going to stop bringing up XRP, so maybe you should just leave. This is my most prominent role. Plus, the amount of money I invested, more than $50,000, into this. I have 90,000 XRP, and I only want to keep that amount for the near future. I might have 10,000 XRP for the long term, but I'm not planning to spend it. So, I'm going to start by declaring that I have 90,000 XRP, just in case I forget about the other 10,000 and leave them there for the next 20 years. Find out what it could be. Possibly it's something more substantial. It might be something more modest. I am uncertain. From where we are at the moment, I am certain that it will grow into something significant. We will simply have to wait and see. But that doesn't mean you can't hold your own opinion. I won't be angry with you, but you just repeat yourself and don't contribute anything to the conversation. There's no point in watching an XRP video if you don't think XRP is legit, so I'll just get you out of here. I mean, it's the same old video where you all debate whether or not XRP is garbage. What a waste of space. It's not just that it might become the de facto global currency, it has so many other advantages as well. The viewer's presence here is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I will see you later.